guys, it's Jane. I'm here today to throw my hat into the ring for the Dirty Word Society. This is a new project that um, Adrian and Dalton from Stripped Cover Lit have started. It's about writing and developing skills around writing. I'll link below to their announcement video where they explain the whole idea of the Dirty Word Society and also the first project for members of the society. Um, I'm here today to film my response to that project. The project was to go out and find a copy of a literary journal, a local literary journal, local to where you were, and read it and then review one of the pieces from it. This is the journal that I have found. It's called Kill Your Darlings. Um, and I picked that one. There are a few literary journals um, out of Melbourne. Um, this was the one that looked the friendliest and also has, a, you know, a um, fun title. So I picked this one. I've never really read literary journals, so this was a new thing for me. Um, it contains mostly essays this one it has an interview with a brazilian author as well it has a number of short pieces of fiction um, but the vast majority of it are essays either um, social commentary um, or personal essays the one that has struck me the most i haven't read absolutely everything in here but i've read more than half and the piece that has struck me the most is a piece um, called A Sky Full of Pride. It's a personal essay by Omar Saker, who's an author I've not heard of. He's, according to the bio, um, an Arab Australian poet whose writing has appeared in The Guardian, The Sydney Morning Herald, The Saturday Paper, Archer, and Going Down Swinging. I will link his um, Twitter address in the description below for anybody who gets excited by what I'm going to talk about in this essay and they want to catch up with Omar. The piece is called A Sky Full of Pride and it's about homelessness. Um, let me just read the opening paragraph and then I'll tell you a little bit about um, the essay. Without further ado, the facts are these. I am a proud man. I'm a deeply unhappy man. I am a coward. All of these truths, these ugly seams, tore open recently when my mother became homeless. So the essay is on the surface about actual economic homelessness but it's also about spiritual homelessness. There's a whole bunch of themes um, about uh, difficulties within families and the kind of situations that can lead a person to feeling homeless, as in without a solid base, without anyone to rely on. Um, and it also is um, at the same time about economic homelessness and the sorts of scenarios that can lead one into that situation. He talks about the fact that we often think of homeless people as having no past and no future. They're just, um, they are homeless, that is what they are, they're, they're almost out of time. But they have a history of events which lead them up to that current situation and many of them have, you know, a future beyond homelessness that is almost impossible to see when we just see a homeless person on the street. This is a deeply personal story. Um, his relationship with his mother gets quite a battering throughout uh, the writing. Um, and he, it gives the impression of being... <laughs> incredibly deeply even uncomfortably honest um, he didn't have a, a particularly happy childhood his relationship with his mother has always been fraught for a bunch of reasons um, because of her economic situation that she finds herself in he feels duty bound to invite her to come and stay with him despite the fact that he is quite economically un sort of 
you know, settled himself. He's a writer who's trying to support himself through writing and things are not going well at the time when he, when his mother becomes homeless. So it's not like he is super, you know, flush himself, but he's duty bound to do this. When she comes and lives with him as an adult, he finds that he learns things about his mother that he did not really know. Probably he intellectually knew part of it, but he didn't emotionally know what it would be like from her point of view. It's a very moving story and um, I would recommend if anybody uh, is interested by what I've described to get a hold of issue 25 of Kill Your Darlings and have a read of A Sky Full of Pride. That's it for me today. I hope you're all well and I'll talk to you later. Bye!